Purple Cal helped pay for the education of the first certified ganja in Montana. That's a person that has expertise and knowledge in marijuana and cannabis products and can help businesses and customers. I would recommend anyone who's new start with only one milligram. Carrie Boyder is the first and only ganja in Montana and is an elite company nationwide and around the world. I'm one of 235 certified ganjiers in the entire world right now. Now the Purple Cow Dispensary has even more to offer on the best combinations for all different consumer demands. Yeah, I need something for sleep. They know exactly what to you know, tell you. Dan Schaefer says the bud tenders know a lot about marijuana and he welcomes any information from a ganja. I guess it's just like any kind of crop, uh, you know, producing wine, same thing. You got to know your grapes. That's also the sentiment of those in the industry. And Boyder's analysis of cannabis is similar to that of wine connoisseurs. Wine is really a great comparison um, because it's using the exact same categories that a sommelier would use. And those categories are appearance, taste, um, aroma, and then experience that you have. Boyder went through about 200 hours of education, including instruction in California, to become a certified ganja. That gave her knowledge in the different strains of marijuana and how those will fit into edibles, drinks, and other products. She says she cannot give medical advice, but she can give information. I could not um, recommend a product without having tried it myself. Purple Cow's management helped with the tuition and now have access to Boyder's expertise in many areas, including growing and processing. Ganji would be able to tell you what kind of environment it, it was grown in, how, how it's going to finish off, what kind of flavors you're going to taste and, and sense within the whole product, but then also be able to direct and educate people. Um, Boyder is not a Purple Cow employee and can also work with other marijuana shops. Now we're going to reap the rewards, but so will anybody else in the industry. This is really a great opportunity to put Montana on the map and help make sure that this emerging industry has some standards of excellence that we can all really be proud of. In Billings, David J, MTN News.